Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how you can graph a line in a web app called Desmos. To do this, you're going to have to go to the Desmos webpage, which is www.desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S dot -E com. You'll get to a page like this, and to start graphing our line, just click on the button that says Start Graphing. The process of graphing is pretty straightforward. Over to the left, you have a place where you can type in what you want to do, and on the right is the graph. So in our case, I want to graph y equals 10x plus 12. So all I'm going to do is type y equals 10x plus 12. Simple as that. Over here to the right, you saw as I was typing that in, the graph appear, and it's pretty simple to now adjust that graph. If I want to zoom out from that graph, I can click on the minus up here on the right hand side. If I want to zoom in, I can click on the plus. So in this window, we don't see the y-intercept. If we want to do that, we need to make sure that we graph higher up on this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the wrench there. That's the graph settings button. And I'm going to tell it, instead of going up to 7.823, I'm going to tell it to go up to 20. When I click outside of that box, I can now see that I've included 20 here. Now, perhaps I don't want my horizontal window to be from negative 10 to 10. I can change that. I'm going to try negative 5 to 5. And it makes a pretty nice graph there. You want to make sure that you can see both of these intercepts. That's usually a typical thing that's useful on a linear graph. But anytime that you're like don't like what you've done and you want to start all over again, you can click on this default zoom button and it'll take you back to being negative 10 to 10 and roughly about neg negative 7 to 7. In the next video, I want to show you how you can take the graph that you've created and you can take that graph, make a copy, and then paste it inside of a discussion board.